March 2023 Pixel feature drop is here a week later than usual and it ends the latest round of QPR beta updates. It does give us a lot of extra features here on the stable channel and here with the most important new additions. I don't want to disappoint you right up top, but there aren't exactly masses of new functions and functionality added here with the March 2023 Pixel feature drop. That said, there are some new things here that might not be familiar unless you've already run the QPR beta phase already. Some of these options as well, you'll note throughout this video, have actually been announced by Google, but they are subject to Google's eye and attention here in this feature drop. They might not technically require the latest update on your device as functionality is already rolling out or already has rolled out, but we have noted them nonetheless. But without any further ado, let's get into it. So if you have the Pixel 6 Pro, the QHD Plus screen is exceptional but it is stuck at this resolution by standard. When the Pixel 7 Pro launched, it came with the ability to change that resolution between Full HD Plus or 1080p and QHD Plus 1440p. This is said to help improve battery longevity without actually reducing image and screen quality at least too drastically. The March Pixel feature drop that lets you adjust the resolution on the Pixel 6 Pro to lower this setting as well if you just wanna try this for yourself and maybe get a little bit of extra lifespan out of your now year old handset. The Health Connect app is now also a default application on Pixel phones with this update. For those unaware, Health Connect lets you share health and fitness tracking data between applications, services and devices. It does rely on application integration with this platform, but it does offer a way to sync data across multiple services with wearables and other fitness hardware that is connected to your Pixel. Other devices can download this dedicated app from the Google Play Store. You'll find a link in the description below. If you do want to try Health connect functionality for yourself. Although not directly related to this March patch, as I noted at the start of this video, Google is touting the increased availability for Google Photos or this magic eraser feature from Google Photos as part of the latest release. Provided you pay for Google One storage, you'll be able to access the image adjustment function, which was actually previously limited to tensor powered devices, at least by official means. In hindsight, this function couldn't be held behind the March patch as older unsupported hardware simply wouldn't be able to use the functionality at all, that is, even with a Google One plan. One of the most requested features we've seen for Pixel phones in recent years, given the at -a glance widget enhancements, is the ability to track timers and alarms across your devices and smart hardware. Finally, this is part and parcel of the March 2023 Pixel feature drop, and this means you'll be able to set timers on your Nest smart home displays and speakers and see the remaining time displayed on your lock screen and home screen as part of that at a glance widget on your Pixel. When active, you'll get a notification from the Google Assistant that will then show a notification when a timer has ended. Controls for stopping and adding more time will be offered if you do need to add a little bit more. Annoyingly though, this isn't compatible with the Nest Hub Max and is limited to other Nest speaker lineups. If you're in India and you are a Geo subscriber, then we've got some good news for you. The March update brings with it 5G connectivity and therefore greater connectivity options beyond the base 3G, 4G and Wi-Fi standards. So if you're in that network in India, you should now be able to use 5G as standard on your Pixel 7 or 7 Pro. Yes, as you would expect, the March 2023 Pixel feature drop also includes the very latest security patch a week after it probably should have been here. This means you should have protection against any known exploits bugs and whatnot and although it is late it's still one of the main reasons do people do choose the pixel device and it is part and parcel here of this march 2023 pixel feature drop so although the function is still limited to the us direct my call lets you effectively skip through annoying in-call menus when calling toll-free numbers like customer services in the united states and north america your pixel will take care of the frustration and show you on screen what menu options available, letting you just tap and pick up where you need to be and saving you time. And this now works with the Pixel 4a and the Pixel 5a. In conjunction with Hold For Me though, this could be a powerful AI powered addition for US based Pixel owners. The latter function is also now expanding to Japan with this March Pixel feature drop here too. So there's a lot of telephony connectivity options as part of this update. Google is also improving the speed at which your Pixel can now take low light photos, in particular 
with the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. What's interesting though is that the Pixel 6a doesn't appear to be included as those with last year's flagship phones and flagship Tensor processor should now be able to capture night sight photos faster and in step with the Pixel 7 series. We're not sure why the Pixel 6a seems to be missing from Google's own blog post but it may eventually get this update later down the line. As with any quarterly update though, there are a number of minor UI tuning and tweaks that have been added here with this March 2023 Pixel feature drop. If you've tested the previous beta phase, then you're likely going to be aware of most of these changes, so I suggest you skip forward. Most of these changes have now though been fully enveloped into this stable Android 13 release for Pixel phones, with more changes expected once Android 14 comes later this year, so be sure to check out our developer preview coverage of that particular build. Since fully revamping the quick settings panel in Android 12 though, Google has tweaked, tuned and owned this core user interface component. With the March feature drop now here, there are some minor changes, but important ones nonetheless, to the layout of this section. When now when fully expanded, you'll notice a larger clock in the upper left of this area. This time is more prominent, easy to see, and now has the date housed underneath it. Previously, the date was above with some substantial padding between these two key information points. That's not all though, as your carrier or data network information is now elevated above the device status icons on the right side and that battery level of your phone itself. This helps erase some of the white spaces or blank spaces and lets dual SIM users instantly spot just what network or carrier is currently being utilized on your device. There's a lot of changes to the lock screen here too, with the music identifying now playing function working from your lock screen not necessarily changing, it has though moved upwards slightly to make it easier to see and interact with. Now it sits closer to the in-display fingerprint scanner on Pixel 6 and newer phones, while on previous generations it too has moved into a more centrally aligned position. Previously the now playing text pop-up was pinned more closer towards the bottom of your lock screen. Another change here that you might not necessarily notice right away is the increased emergency call button or padding of that emergency call button that lives just below the pin entry panel. If you choose to enter a lock screen code then the emergency button now has a larger activation area and this button still adheres to the dynamic colour settings as part of the wider material youth theming guidelines on your phone. Increased padding has also been added here to the default Pixel launcher, with visual adjustments of the padding of applications being most notable when opening or expanding folders on your home screen. App spacing is increased while the folder container is also enlarged. While it likely won't affect your usage, it might help make the pop-up panels a little bit easier to access and more visually distinctive. Some other changes also include the device control section, although this is very minor, but when you do activate from the lock screen or the quick settings panel, you should see the Google Home logo alongside the name of your connected home or location. The text also looks a little bit bolder to my eye, but that might just be the placebo effect. One major new option for many of you out there when running the March 2023 Pixel feature drop though is 21 new Unicode 15 emoji right available right at your fingertips when using this update. These include a shaking face, a pink heart, a light blue heart and a grey heart. There's new animals now including a donkey, a moose, a goose, a wing, a blackbird plus a jellyfish. There's also more plants including the hyacinth, a pea pod and root ginger, they're all included. Random objects added to this uh, option of emojis include a hand fan, a hair pick, a flute, maracas and a candor symbol, plus as wireless logos and a new hand symbols for rightward and leftward pushing hands. It's not exactly the most extensive but they're extra emoji and, and we know a lot of people do care about this. The only downside to these new emojis though is that anyone not running builds later than the Android 13 QPR2 Beta 2 might not actually be able to see them if you do send them onto your contacts. So do bear that in mind at least when until devices do get updates to support the new Unicode 15 emoji. The March 2023 Pixel feature drop though is not limited to Pixel phones. If you do have Google's first wearable, aka the Pixel Watch, then you should soon get access to the long awaited fall detection mode as this update rolls out right there on your wrist. So this uses sensors on your Pixel Watch and the device itself is able to detect if you've taken a hard fall and then connect to emergency services. It manages this by using the inbuilt motion sensors and on-device machine learning to accurately detect hard falls versus a stumble or even a vigorous workout. If you do have an LTE capable Pixel Watch, it's also able to directly call your local emergency services with an active eSIM. Those with Bluetooth modes on Bluetooth models will need a nearby connected smartphone for calls to emergency services to be made, 
when this function is available on your wrist. So that's all of the most notable functions you'll get access to as part of the latest feature drop. It's a nice bonus, but one of the less notable updates, at least in recent months. If you enjoyed this video though, I wanna ask you to hit that like button. And if we do hit the 2000 likes threshold, we'll give away some more exclusive nine to five Google feature drop wallpapers, which you'll find in the pinned comment. I wanna ask you though, what's your favorite new addition? If you have installed this on your own Pixel device, let me know down in the comment sections below. It's always interesting to hear your thoughts. But until next time, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.